So here's how I add captions like this to my videos using Adobe Premiere. So here I already have a finished video. It has my voiceover and everything's ready to go for exporting. And that's when I would recommend adding your captions at the very end. So what I do at the top here is I'm gonna change my workspace over to captions and graphics. And then you'll see this option here that says create transcript. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. And then I will leave everything the same here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit transcribe. And then what this is going to do is going to analyze that video and all of my talking parts and then it's going to transcribe it into text and you'll see that up here at the top. Now what I will do then is now go through this entire text and edit it to just make sure that everything is the way I want it to sound. So I don't like any punctuation in my video, I just want it to be word for word for word so I'm going to delete any commas, question marks, periods and everything like that. And what's great is you can just hit play in your video and it'll highlight each word as you say it. And then you can just make sure that it's typed out what you wanted to say. I'm gonna cover and let that cook for about 20 minutes. So once I have my text edited and it says everything that I wanted it to say and it's spelled the way that I want it to be, I'll go ahead up to the top and select this CC, which is gonna create our captions. It's gonna bring this caption preset option up. I'm gonna go ahead and toggle this preferences down. Here at the bottom, maximum character length, I'm gonna bring that all the way down to seven. And then I'm going to do single lines here. And then I'll go ahead and create captions. That'll do its thing, it goes pretty quick. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the very first caption. Is, right? And then over here on the right hand side, let me make this a little bit bigger. We can go ahead and we can edit the style, look and position of our text. So I want this to be, I, this is just me personally now. You can put this wherever you want. I like mine literally dead center. Another thing I'll do is I'll switch this to 60. My text is Helvetica condensed black. I like it old, italic, and all caps. The other thing I like to do is I'll personally add a stroke to it. I'll add one, and then my shadow is how I like it. And then, I'll... so you can edit this, make it however you want. You can make it any color, any text, whatever you want, right? So this is how I got it, right? Now, what you'd wanna do is where it says track style, it says none, you're gonna create a style. Just name it whatever you want. I'm literally just gonna leave it exactly text style. Boom. And what that's going to do is add those changes to all of the text across your captions. Another thing that I like to do is at this point, I'll go through and I'll make sure that those captions line up with the parts where I'm saying them. Is lasagna soup still trending or am I just... If you want your captions to be one word at a time, you'll need to go in and then individually make those changes for any words that are less than seven characters long because it'll fit them in one line. So here's an example, or am. What you can do is just simply bring up your blade tool, make that cut. Then here, I'm gonna delete the or. Oops, am. Or am I just in here? Just oops, I just and here's what that looks like. Still trending, or am I just late? This fancy hobby. There also might be parts where I stop talking and I don't want the text to be continually displayed on the screen. So what I can do is I can just drag that over to the side and then once I end saying paste, there won't just be like blank space in the audio, but then you'll just see paste across the screen. Once you have your audio all edited and you got it the way you want, if there's any keywords that you want to maybe highlight or change the font, style, text, or color to, all you have to do is simply select it and then you'll go into the fill section right here and then we can change that color. So once all of your captions are edited and you're ready to export, one step you don't want to forget is in the export settings here, you're gonna to wanna to toggle down captions. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that's turned on. And then you also want to make sure that you select burn captions into video. Then what you will see is you'll notice, um, then you'll notice that your captions are going to be in your video. 
and then you can go ahead and export. I have a whole other video where I'll share my export settings for 4K vertical videos and I'll put that somewhere up here.